on the move about a mile ahead of us. Hey, stay with them, Tony. Whoa! What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoons to like. Boy, oh boy, this is definitely going to go down. It's one of my favorite episodes, man. There was just so much going on in here. It was so thrilling. Um, It was great. There was an episode, uh, it was a few seasons ago. I remember, like, Cruz and Herman were stuck in this, like, elevator, I think. Um, I forgot, I, I forgot if it was an elevator, but that episode, it was like, it was just them two like and they were having to like go through everything um in this episode like it was crazy man Th that this episode reminded me of that you know not not the same things were going on but this episode kind of reminded me of that this episode was more like a chicago pd or something you know what i mean like it was more like chicago pd so this is definitely like if you're a pd fan you would have loved this episode right here but um but yeah, man, it, it was crazy, man. And Kelly did some really smart stuff to like get himself out of this jam. Yeah, so uh, he had the phone so they could track him down uh, while he was driving on the. They were on the road at this point the following morning, and then um, Kelly had this lighter. Luckily, he had this lighter, I think, in his pocket, and, and he used the lighter to cause some smoke to start. And he was basically burning it, burning the truck. And I think he did this so that they were able to spot the fire. Like, because he knew they weren't, like, too far behind him. Like, you know, 51 and the cops. Like, he knew they weren't too far behind. So, he was as a signal, like, where they were at. He knew they would have to go there because it was such a big fire, Um, you know, when he blew up the truck. And he knew they would have to go there, and that's how they were able to find, you know, Severide and get him, get him rescued. I like when it. Okay, so one thing that went through my mind, right, when it first happened, I was like, "Damn, did everybody survive that?" Because I was like, "Damn, he could have blew himself up, like for real, for real." But everybody got out though. Um, the two, the two gunmen, they got out. The host, the, the guy who's the two dudes that were holding Kelly hostage, they got out. And then, um, the Stella, bro, bro, she was like, when she saw that, I think for a few minutes, she thought that Severat was dead. Um, because she knew it probably was him that caused that, you know, or, or was involved in that, that truck, you know, burn, you know, burning up to a blaze like that. So that was crazy, bro. But that was smart, though. I mean, Seven Rat was smart throughout this episode, man. He, like I said, that dude was a beast in this episode as far as getting uh, 51 to track him down in the cops as well, man. And then we had, like, a big-ass shootout and everything like that. But we'll get back to this. Um, when uh, Stella and Seven Rat reunite, uh, I want to get to the, the Gibson stuff uh, with Jack Damon and uh, Violet, you know, revealing... He revealed to Violet that uh, the cop that was working his case was his boyfriend. So I want to talk about those two scenes, and then we're gonna get, then we're gonna close this thing out with uh, Stella riding in about three different videos. So let's get to it, y'all. But go ahead and get this video a like, share, subscribe, give me your thoughts on this. Thank y'all for watching this one. After news, the like.